Cassie. Ah, my head is spinning. Where the hell am I? I was worried that we lost you forever. Why are you wearing a mask? And what the hell am I wearing? What's going on here? You were naked and injured when they brought you here. You shivered and mumbled in your sleep. But it's okay now. You're not alone anymore. What happened? What is this place? We're on the outskirts of Bleakmoor. Here, the Scarlet Lodge can't get to us. I'm sure you have many questions. But it's Sabinian who can inform you better. I am only here to keep an eye on you. Who is Sabinian? He's the owner of this property. He's also Amanda's right-hand man. Ah, Amanda. You should have said that right away. Who the fuck is Amanda? Sabinian will tell you everything. He's inside the library. Who are you? Uh, where are my manners? You can call me Mabel. Just Mabel. I wish we had met under better circumstances, Mabel. I'm Victor, but lately everyone likes to call me the Seeing One. Perhaps it'll cheer you up to know that you are not the first. They say there are many Seeing Ones. Really? How many? Are, are any of them here? I think you'll find those answers soon. Just not from me. Eh, uh, alright. Why are you wearing a mask? It's part of the tradition in our society. One that I respect and honor. What kind of society wears masks? The best one. You'll see for yourself. <laughs> sure. Um, I'll go find Sabinian. And hey, I'm sorry if I've come across as rude. This whole situation has been a mindfuck. I understand. I need to find a phone and call Lily. This is going to be one hell of a conversation. In the outskirts. Good. The farther from Bleakmore I am, the better. Again, gloomy days and a gloomy life. Ah, I slept so long.
that's interesting. An impressive collection of books. I could spend the entire day here. Welcome, Seeing One. It's an honor to meet you. The last man who called me the Seeing One tried to kill me. I call you the Seeing One because you have an insight into the world that others do not. There's no need for dispute over semantics. However, know that any man who has the gift of seeing is extremely respected among our society. What am I doing here? Amanda and Jonathan saved you in the darkest hour. Everything is hazy, but... Honestly, I prefer not to remember any of it. You were very lucky, Victor. It's rare that someone escapes from the Scarlet Lodge. Amanda and Jonathan managed to get you out of the theater and brought you here. I never thought Jonathan for the violent type, but here we are. Jeez, who are you? Well, we are like you. We know that the world around us is not the only view of reality. We're trying to find other seeing ones. But unlike the Scarlet Lodge, we don't want to use and brutalize them. So what is it that you want, then, if you're not the brutalizing and using type? We help the Seeing Ones and receive their visions with humility, as they wish it to be. Our goal is to understand Lustiga, and to do so, we reach out to those who have these visions. It's our understanding that Seeing Ones are appearing in the world, and nothing happens without a reason. At this point? I'm able to believe just about anything. Are there any other seeing ones here? Yes. Amanda. The most powerful seeing one I have ever known. She guides us. And thanks to her, we will know the truth. When she arrives at the mansion, you will have your chance to speak to her. What's the Scarlet Lodge? They used to be part of our society. Together, we tried to peek behind the veil of reality and learn the secrets of Lustiga. The land of eternal ecstasy. Unfortunately, there was a tragedy. Long ago, we managed to transfer to the other dimension. However, some of the group stayed behind too long. Their bodies experienced an ecstasy that bordered on pain, and their minds were drowned in inconceivable terror. After these events, they turned their backs on us, and now they obsessively seek to destroy everything related to Lustiga. Some of them have become unpredictable animals that even Austerlitz cannot control. Austerlitz forced me to go into an alien world to retrieve a book. It was something called uh, the nature of universes. And when the vision was over, I still had it with me. How was that possible? Was it real? You came back from Lustiga with an object in your hands. There is no better proof that Lustga is a material place. In the book you mentioned, the nature of the universes, that being in the hands of Austerlitz is a tremendous threat. It contains dangerous knowledge. Many of the seeing ones were forced to search for the book. They weren't as lucky as you. Why don't you report it to the police? They're a bunch of psychotic freaks, a gang of murderers and rapists. The Scarlet Lodge has a grip on the police. They're just waiting for us to reveal our position, and then Austerlitz could destroy us. I think you know enough for now, seeing one. You should rest. Amanda will be back soon. Then we'll talk some more. Can I make a call? I'm sure my fiancé is worried. If you must. Is that a problem? As I mentioned, the Scarlet Lodge has ties with the police. And I'm afraid that they might track us. That's why we conduct some peculiar methods of operation around here. The phone downstairs is disconnected for that reason. But here... Take this key for the upper floor. Go to my room and use one of the phones hidden behind the painting. The phone's behind a painting. Don't talk too long and destroy the phone as soon as you're done. Under no circumstances should you reveal our location. Do I make myself clear? For all of us, 
but especially for your fiance. That would be dangerous knowledge to uncover. Hmm. Okay. I'll be careful. I don't know what to think about all this, and how to tell Louie. She's gonna think I'm crazy. Is a beautiful house. A little dusty, but that makes it even better for me.
I've always been bad at pool. Knickknacks everywhere. I wonder who dusts them. Apparently, they don't want me to look over there. Hmm. A phone that's probably just for decoration. If I wanted to leave, Looks like something was here recently. A collection of mechanical oddities. No way I could sleep here.
Where do I start? Hello? Lily, hey, it's me. But... Victor... I called the hotel so many times, but no one would answer. God... I was so worried. I thought you were going to call me after your appointment with the doctor. Where are you? Look, I really don't know where to start. Everything's been crazy. I... almost died, Lily. What? What are you talking about? What happened? My visions. They're real. Do you understand? Dr. Austerlitz wanted to use me because of them. His people are everywhere. What? Where are you? D did you go to the police? No, 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 no. The police work with them. They're all part of the Scarlet Lodge. Whatever that is. Shit! Uh, Lily, I know what this sounds like, but something seriously fucked up is going on. I don't even know where I am. I think I'm on the outskirts of Bleakmoor. At least that's what they're telling me. But, but who's saying that? What does this place look like? Tell me whatever you can. Oh, that's probably her. Shit, Lily, I have to go. I will call you soon, I promise. Victor, don't even try to be funny with me. Tell me where the fuck you are right now. Lily, there's someone here that's like me. She has visions too, or so they say. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'll call you back soon. Victor! Victor, don't you dare fucking hang up on me. Sorry. What's going on? The Scarlets were sending him to Lustgoth. He almost lost his mind. There are pills in the bathroom that'll help him. Get them fast. Are you Amanda? Now is not the time. Go, get the pills. Uh, yeah, okay. Folks teach you to knock? Ah! Oh shit. Uh, sorry. Amanda told me to get some pills that are in here. Sure. Everyone says that. He hasn't seen the shitting freak yet, has he? Fucking weirdo. Donald! Didn't you hear, Amanda? Someone's hurt. The pills you're looking for are in the cupboard above the sink. Sorry about Donald. He doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. Gah! I have to share my shitting time with you forever. But apparently that's not enough. Now you're inviting everyone in the mansion to be an audience. As for you, take these drugs and get the fuck out. Uh, right. To think that a few days ago I would have found that encounter strange. I'm back. Give the pills to B Bobby. Poor chap. The host guy almost took. I could use some whiskey, like a whole bottle, actually. Christ, what was that I... Uh, what did you find in Lustka? I don't know the words. There are no words for it. I heard screams from above. I take it you've met the Sh Shackley brothers? Are they from Lustka, too? 
Just because you haven't met anyone like them before doesn't mean there's no one like that. They're conjoined twins. Ah, I see. I'm... Hey, you're the guy that saved me from the Scarlet Lodge, right? Y yes, th that'd be me. Boy, that was a rough one. But I'm glad the new seeing one is with us. I'm Jonathan, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm Amanda's husband. Victor. Victor Holloway. Where's Amanda? I was supposed to talk to her. Jeez, my head is spinning, spinning, and spinning. Amanda, my wife, went to talk with Sab Sabinian. They're probably in her room on the top floor. They're only talking, though. <laughs> it might be better to wait until the meeting is over. Do you think I can use one of Sabinian's phones? I didn't get to finish my conversation earlier, and my fiancé is pretty worried about me. <sighs> if I were you, I wouldn't make such m moves without his permission. Then I'll wait. Can I have a look around in the meantime? It'll be good for me to keep my mind busy. I'm an antiquarian, so I have a soft spot for dusty places full of junk. Um, not that it's dusty here, or that it's filled with junk, per se. I, uh, just mean I wanted to stretch my legs a bit. Mabel used to keep things tidy, but lately she's only been cr crying in the corners. And this decor is part of the tradition of our uh, society. Look around if you like. Oh, right, in the theater, we found a chest filled with things taken from, you know, the seeing ones. It's near the exit door. Sure, I'll check it out. And, hey, whatever happened back there, thanks. No, pr no problem. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be here with B Bobby, and don't go stabbing anyone with that knife. <laughs> Now he shat his pants before our eyes. <laughs> 
Two assholes with one ass. Marvelous. Maybe you'd like to have only one head as well. I'm sorry. We found this mask in Sabinian's room, and Donald made me do it. Ah, I'm only kidding. Man, you really got me there for a minute. <laughs> what? No! That didn't go according to plan. Shit, shit, shit! Cheering yourself up with some cards? Cheering up? Oh, Jonathan told you. Nothing new. He's such a blabbermouth. And these are not typical cards. They're tarot. My cards tell me I'm gonna be gone soon. I was planning to leave right after talking to Amanda. I just have to wait for her meeting with Sabinian to end. I came to say goodbye, and thank you again for looking after me. You're not staying with us? Why would I stay? Maybe the cards will answer your question. My tarot can enlighten you and shed light on your fate. I don't believe in that crap. Not since I figured out who Santa Claus really was. Hmm. After what you've seen, perhaps you should open your mind to the unknown. Sit down, please. I guess I have to wait anyway. Well then, let's begin. Huh. <sighs> Here's the card spread that will reveal the secrets of your life axis. As you can see, they're divided into three segments. The one on your left symbolizes the past. The middle one is the present, and the right is for the future. Simple enough? Now, choose the cards that speak to you. Hmm. Okay. The Hanged Man. Apparently, you have passed the stage of plunging into the subconscious, gaining a new point of view. This means that you are ready to enter the stage of understanding. Understanding, more often, reveals hellishly unpleasant knowledge, so I'm fed up with such discoveries. We learn the most when we suffer. That's what I believe. You've already learned something about yourself. Time for the second card. Choose it from the other two spheres of time. Sure, okay. The moon. It means that you are just beginning to perceive reality in a different way. I can agree with that. In the moonlight, what is unreal becomes real. And it's often difficult to distinguish what is true and what is illusion. The strength. Hey, that sounds good. This card symbolizes control and restraint of will. It means that you will finally be able to control your hidden desires. Remember that strength, if not properly balanced, can turn against you. Even in a positive reading, there has to be a little bit of warning, huh? Fate is often perfidious. That's all. I hope the tarot cards helped you understand some aspects of your fate. What did you think of it? I found out something about myself. You're pretty good with those cards. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. Men often tell me that. I'm the one who should be thanking you. This was a welcome distraction for me. Amanda is waiting for you in her room, seeing one. All right, I'll go to her now. And after that? Have you already learned your destiny? So you believe in those tarot cards and other magical mumbo-jumbo too, huh? Esoteric themes are full of kitsch and contradictions, but I believe in destiny as a philosophical construct. Anyway, the negation of existence of free will is a dominant theme in the world of science. I must have slept during that lesson. Amanda must be getting impatient, seeing one.
Where is she? Hmm. This is a good opportunity to look around. What's with these weird masks? Victor, right? Yeah, Victor Holloway. I'm Amanda Moon. I've been searching for you ever since I caught a glimpse of the antique shop in my vision. I sent people to find you, but unfortunately, I had too little information to make it in time. What are you? It was my voice that you heard. I called on you. I felt you. Our minds are fused with Lestgov. I was able to connect with you through visions. And yes, I know what it sounds like. But there's no other explanation for it. Magic. I'm supposed to believe it. The land of ecstasy is real. And we are its voice on Earth. You can't run away. So you should stop denying it. How am I supposed to end this? I want some peace of mind. Nothing else. Because of these... visions. I lost sense of myself. I... Hit Lily, I fell into the trap of that bastard Austerlitz. I almost died. These visions are not a burden. A powerful force from another universe chose us. Imagine how much that means. What does this powerful being want from us? What does it want from me? It's Lauferbrock, the lustful god. I listen to his voice. Lately, I've been trying to figure out why so many seeing ones have appeared. And what did you find out? I know how to solve your problems. If you only help me. What do you mean? You are not sick. It's Lustgar that has a disease. And only we can help it. Come with me. What will be, will be.